The following program is brought to you by Bruce Telecom and Whiteman TV. So we've moved a little farther down the coastline in Southampton to the Southampton Tennis Club. I'm here with Catherine. Thank you for joining me today. Glad to be here. And uh, the Southampton Tennis Club, if people don't know what's here, you've got lots of space, lots of stuff going on. What can you tell me about the tennis club? Well, I could tell you so much because <laughs> there is so much to tell. Um, what you are seeing behind us actually is just one of our three sites at the Southampton Tennis Club. We are located in Southampton, Ontario, um, on the beautiful shores of the Blue Lake Huron. And as I said, this is one of our three sites here in Southampton. Yep. Uh, five courts here and our main clubhouse where people come to join up for memberships, mm -hmm. reserve courts, snack on <laughs> chips, and where the kids line up for freezies for only a quarter. Oh, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> that seems to be the great magnet. Um, our other two locations, we have two original courts up near the Bruce County Museum okay. on Thompson Lane, and also we're blessed with another eight courts on South Street at the south end of Southampton. So we are a club that although we are entirely outdoor yep. and in fact our active season is from Canada Day weekend to Labor Day weekend, we have 15 courts. Oh, I had no idea you had that many. 15 courts. We started in 1956 with only the two up near the Bruce County Museum. And they were and are actually town courts. Right. Um, but oh, over 50 years ago, a very devoted uh, tennis player, uh, Foss Warder, uh, gathered together a group of other tennis enthusiasts and said, you know, this town really could get sports active with tennis. And what if we rehabilitated those two courts that had, you know, weeds and cracked yeah. surface and everything. <laughs> a little so, loving. Oh, yeah. So those two courts were rehabilitated. Mm -hmm. And in fact, a practice wall was erected back in 1956 and still active and very heavily used today. Do you play tennis? I, I used to dabble. <laughs> I haven't played for a long time. Okay, I we need you known, back. We I need you back. I the wild thing because I tend to hit a little bit too hard. You would fit right in, Kristen. <laughs> there we go. I'll this have to come great. down. <laughs> so if you wanted to, you could book a court there okay. at courts one and two or courts three through seven mm -hmm. here um, or again the other eight courts on South mm -hmm. Street and if you want to resurrect your love of tennis and get <laughs> back that wild thing experience there you go. <laughs> um, we have uh, programs actually for returning players for starter players for people who want to just play socially recreationally or competitively or all of that oh wow so lots of options whether you've played before whether you have no idea whether you just want to come and see what it's all about there's oh, yeah. lots to do and you know if you're not sure about returning to the sport or starting it up and you don't know if you want to invest in a racket right the good thing is if you come here with your little ones or with um, your friend who wants to check out the sport or yourself right. yep. um, come to the main clubhouse here on Lake Street 165 Lake Street in Southampton <laughs> and if you just want to borrow a racket take a lesson join up book a court hit with some people to get a feel for it right um, it's just a great way to be active during the summer season, mm -hmm. enjoy the sunshine right. that we're so blessed with. <laughs> um, and so there, we have here, um, across our 15 courts, we've got the lessons mm -hmm. starting as young as five years old. Oh, cute. Oh, cutie kids, <laughs> cutie kids. So we go right up through the ages, mm -hmm. right to seniors who have played for decades and decades, right. grandparents playing with the grandchildren and so on. Mm -hmm. We have lessons for all those levels. And also, if you're only here for a couple of days, mm -hmm. you can join for a couple of days, a week, a month, or the whole season. Oh, We've got packages for juniors, adults, family, mm -hmm. so it can fit your summer. So even if you're just visiting, yep. you're not here for a long time, you yep. can still come and take advantage of these great courts. Yeah, so if you want to reconnect with that grandparent <laughs> or that friend or whoever has the great cottage up here, <laughs> and you're thinking, okay, I hear tennis balls bouncing somewhere, what is going on? Or maybe you have a challenge with the fiancé and you just kind of want to wipe the court with them a little bit. <laughs> Whatever you need to do, Kristen, if you're the wild thing, then come on over. But I started here, for example, I started tennis probably 
when I was about eight years old. Mm -hmm. And I started here, yeah. and I played with my brothers and sisters and then grew friendships from that. Mm -hmm. My first job was here. Oh. <laughs> um, I taught the junior lessons and then taught right the way up to the more advanced senior lessons. Mm -hmm. uh, my resume was kind of one line long that I'd worked at the Southampton Tennis Club, but it meant the world to me to be yeah. up here through the summer. Mm -hmm. And then when I was away starting my career, away for about 10 years, I thought that was tennis. That was bygone. Mm -hmm. um, I won't be back and I won't maybe have the time. Well, I came back. <laughs> I was going to say, and here you are. <laughs> and here I am. Because you stay connected with the people yeah. that you enjoyed those summertime experiences mm -hmm. with. And a lot of that was um, focused around tennis. Right. So I am now, this summer, as I've done many summers mm -hmm. now, I play every day. Oh, wow. With friends I've known since I was a teenager. That is fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this is the thing. It's multi-generational. Yeah. So we have a family, well, several families that are fourth generation mm -hmm. Southampton Tennis Club members. Oh, wow. Great photographs of that, in fact. Oh, I bet. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> and again, people return because this was their positive, good experience. Right. It's a sport, and we do focus around tennis. Yeah. But what we like to say here at the Southampton Tennis Club is the wrapper of friendships, mm -hmm fun, fitness, yep. and fair play. Fantastic. And it, it really has been all of that because I can tell you for the last 50 years, over 50 years, um, if you talk to someone about the Southampton Tennis Club, yes, you'd hear about tennis, yes. but you would hear about everyone they met yes, and everyone they stay connected with um, through the winter time and join up again uh, to see them in the summertime. You would hear about the fun of it all. Right. Um, we take the game seriously as much as we can. With a little fun. With yeah. a little fun and some good chit chat yep. at the net post and so on. Um, and as long as it's a really good game, mm -hmm. uh, a fun game where you try hard, yes. but we call the good shots and we call the, the great effort and we call the lines fairly. So that's the fair play part. Right. And at the end of um, a game or a set, mm -hmm. right from the wee ones, yep. five-year-olds, they walk to the net Mm -hmm. They shake hands and say, good game. Yep. They call the lines fairly. They congratulate each other on good effort. And then the fitness part, I mean, it's a sport. It's a great sport. Of course, yeah. Right? It's, it's quite a workout, actually. If you've never done it, it can it be can quite be. a workout. <laughs> so actually, Kristen, what you're seeing behind me is just um, the ramp up to our busy season, as okay. I said. Um, we have our active season from Canada Day to Labor Day. Mm -hmm. uh, the courts are available if they're um, not in use by members, right. um, let's say in that off season. Right. Uh, and if the good weather prevails, then people <laughs> can certainly um, play on the courts. We've run a June uh, free lesson program to promote the club and the sport. Oh, fantastic. Um, but starting Canada Day weekend, <laughs> it, I don't know when anyone will be viewing this um, exactly, but if you're seeing this now and you're wondering what's going on during our high season, you've got to come down to the Lake Street Clubhouse and check us out. And if you can't do that yet, go on our website. And what is that website? SouthamptonTennisClub.ca. And that is all the details about our membership packages, the membership form you can print mm -hmm. off, uh, the timing of our lessons, round robins, okay. tournaments. Um, we like to make sure that there's something here for everyone, even if they've just joined right. for a week. So there are the lessons, mm -hmm. the recreational play, you can book a court, and there's a round robin every week for juniors, okay. for intermediates, the older teenagers, yep. and for the adults. So just week. lots of stuff going on. Oh, yeah. It's chocked full. And during July, we have a junior tournament for singles and doubles play. Okay. But the real tradition about <laughs> tournament play is our Cups tournament, oh. which runs all through August. And the distinctive thing about the Southampton Cups Day tournament is, sure, we have draws for <laughs> singles and doubles and various age groups. Mm -hmm. But we have over, I think it's 47 categories because it's a very family-oriented club. Right. So add that to the fun, friendship, fitness, and fair play. Um, because we have draws that involve brother and sister, oh. sister and sister, husband and wife, parent and child, grandparent, grandchild. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, and it's really fun to see the dynamic yeah. of the family teams out on the courts. And that is really good all through August until the crescendo day um, towards a, a later weekend in August. And uh, I've played against my sisters a few times. <laughs> We're still talking to each other. That's good. That's yes. good. <laughs> so there was fair play and fun. You um, just don't mention the game anymore. <laughs> no, no. 
But it's interesting, I have three sisters, I have four sisters. We were all in the draw. We were put on different sections of the draw, mm -hmm. but we all made it to the finals. Oh, wow. So it was very exciting. Yes, I bet. But it's a, it's a thrill. We want all the kids to experience kind of, again, the the connection with the sport, right. connection with the friends that they can rally with, yeah. but also that sense of, oh, what would it take to score a point? What mm -hmm. would it feel like to maybe win a game or yeah. certainly give it my best? Yeah, it's great. It's just great. Such a welcoming atmosphere as yeah. well. If anyone's never been down here and they're a little unsure, I got to say, we were very welcome the second we walked up and it's definitely a very inviting environment. So don't don't shy away at all. You want to learn how to play, come on by, ask some questions and, and, and join the game. It's Absolutely. a great place. And if you show up in the morning on any weekday, it is just... It's a holiday in itself because you see the place bubbling with yep. little kids. Mm -hmm. um, now the way tennis is taught, it begins at maybe as young as the age of five, just to bounce the ball. Okay. Get some eye-hand coordination going. Chase the ball, throw the ball to each other so that their introduction to the sport is fun. Yes. Rather than them trying to always hit over the net. Right. That will come. And nowadays there are special low compression balls that help them with the bounce and okay. following and tracking the balls. We teach them with little mini nets for the little <laughs> yeah. ones so they have that sense of accomplishment yeah. and soon enough they ramp up mm -hmm. and they start playing with the regular ball on the regular courts yeah. it's really fun if you also want to see fun pictures of them again the <laughs> southampton tennis club.ca website okay. great photo gallery mm -hmm. of the array of many of our members and it's the kids that make it oh yes <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yes absolutely <laughs> all right well thank you very much for showing us this fantastic plate we got some great games going on behind us they're playing back there very hard and and thank you for just sharing, obviously, your passion for the yeah. tennis club. And I hope you guys have a wonderful season. Thank you. We want to see you out here. Oh, I will get my Wild <laughs> Thing tennis racket out and I'll come down and at least give it a try. But I'm going to warn you, you might need to um, extend the playing field just a little bit. We can do that. <laughs> All right. There what we go. Okay. Great. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks very much. The preceding program was brought to you by Bruce Telecom and Whiteman TV.